Crazy Halloween Guy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Demonica from Spirit Halloween. Let's so get first, right First, I will be reviewing quality. The quality on this prop is quite good, considering how old it is. But um, the head is a nice blue plastic, which is nice. The eyes are plastic also, so they shouldn't break anytime soon. Around the neck, there's like a foamish, kind of like a craft foam kind of thing. So it's like thin, but it's super thin so that whenever the head moves around everything, you can't see the neck mechanism. And the hands are a nice plastic, um, what is it, blow mold kind of thing. The thing about this though is that these hands are way better than any hands that Seasonal Visions or anything makes now because these are much, they're not like really hard plastic, they're more of like kind of a soft plastic. So like they're way more rugged. But yeah, the quality on this is quite good overall. The hair is good. It's just normal like Spirit Halloween prop hair. The cloth is good considering it's, I think this is a 2011 or 2010 prop. So it's still in good condition. The adapter is nice. It's a three amp adapter. So it actually uses more amperage than most props today. So there's that. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up quality. So I'd say the quality on this is Superb. So next, I will be reviewing detail. The detail on this is also impressive, I would say, for Spirit Prop, because there's nice shading on the head. The actual sculpt on it is super well done. The The hair, like I said earlier, about whenever I did quality, the hair is nice, and it's got two different kind of shades of hair in it, so it kind of gives it a cool look. The cloth on it is a little bit cheap feeling, but it, it looks good. The creepy cloth is nice. I'm glad that they kind of use creepy cloth so that if the creepy cloth ever broke, you could kind of just put on your own new creepy cloth. So there's that. The hands, like I said earlier, they're nice and well done, but they also have some great detailing on them. Like some nice shading and everything. You don't really see that on props nowadays. It's kind of like just, they do like a, a wash over it. So it'd be kind of like the fingernails have, but over the whole thing. But yeah, the, the whole, like, detail on this is just, I would say, impressive overall. So now I will be reviewing the mechanism. The mechanism on this prop is good. So it's covered up by the cloth and everything like most props. It's two Velcro straps, Velcro straps here. But, yeah, it's just, I want to get a good look on this. Put it over the head. So it's this part. So this houses all of the um, retracting things. So it has two beams in it that kind of extend out to make it taller. It's just got these two wires. So you just, well actually it's just one wire. Oh no, it actually gets yeah, two. So you hook up both of these and then that's pretty much all you do. And then you just attach the head with the hands and everything to the base of the mechanism. And then you're done. But yeah, this prop is good. It's a little top heavy whenever it gets to its tallest height. So I recommend putting like I, what I did or I'm going to do is put a brick right on there in that center area so it stays down. It's also foot pad activated and it's all, you can also, well, it's I've only really other haunters do is they kind of just cut the sound cord. So then it just, it only goes off every like two minutes because most techie of the older techie props do that to where if they don't get any, like if they don't activate in two minutes, they'll just go off by themselves, which is kind of good for a prop like this because it, it makes it last longer. So I might do that. So yeah, next, next I'll, I'll be on showing you the animation of this prop. So... So yeah, as you saw there, her animation is 
quite good overall, considering how old of a prop it is. But the only thing I would say if they remade it, like they did kind of with Uncle Charlie, is I would say give it a moving mouth, and then I would say this is probably going to be the best seller prop of like all time. Because this is a very cool prop. It's one of my favorites now that I have that I've ever owned from Spirit. So yeah, if you can find one near you, I would highly recommend you get it. Um, but yeah, so this is the first video of the videos I'm going to be doing in October. I'm going to do a video every day in October, or at least I plan to. Tomorrow there should be build videos of the yard haunt. So yeah, um, if you want to see what else I'm doing, go on to my Instagram. I'll have it in the link and I'll have it in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching and happy haunting.